Welcome to the second part of the video on operation strategy. We assume that you have watched the first part of the video and now understand what we mean by strategy and operation strategy. In the last video, we discussed the top-down and bottom-up perspectives. In simple terms, we described the top-down perspectives as the strategic decisions or objectives coming from the top management team. The top management team informs how the operations of the organization is managed to achieve these objectives. There is also the bottom-up perspective which requires consultations with the lower-level management to gain knowledge regarding the operations that feeds into the long-term strategy of the organization. This is what we described in the last video as, mutually reinforcing. This is the formulation of strategy between the top-down and bottom-up perspectives. In this video, we will discuss two more perspectives. These perspectives has to do with the market requirements and the resource constraints and capabilities of the organization's operations. The market requirements perspective. If the business operation strategy does not take into account the market requirements, its strategy is more likely to fail. The business must contemplate what operations performance objective needs to be achieved to satisfy customers. What is key here is that the operation strategy must align itself to the key performance objectives that is a competitive factor that appeals to customer priorities. One way of doing this is for a business to distinguish between order winning and order qualifying factors. Order qualifying factors refer to features of a product or service that a product must have for it to gain the attention of potential customers. This is usually referred to as the minimum expectations of the customers, or necessary product or service attributes. Order winning factors are those that contribute to the success of the business strategy. These refer to the features of a product or service that are regarded by customers as key reasons for purchasing the product or service. Increasing the order winning factors of a product or service will increase the chances of the business achieving its operations strategic objectives. Let's consider an example, a functional phone. The order qualifying factor for a phone would be the features that make it a phone. A screen to show the numbers and messages, a keypad, and the ability to make and receive calls. These are the minimum or qualifying factors for this product to be considered a phone. However, this is not enough to compel you to buy the phone as these are only qualifying factors. What about this phone? This is a more appealing phone, isn't it? This is what the operation strategy will consider when making a phone. Not just order qualifiers, but order winning factors. Features that will attract the customers to their phone such as touchscreen, fingerprint technology, 5G, memory size and so on. These are order winning factors. However, the operation should consider the operations performance that needs to be achieved. Things such as cost and the quality of the product. Now the last but not the least important aspect of operation strategy. The inside out or resource perspective. The way an organization inherits, acquires, or develops its operations resources will over the long term have a significant impact on its strategic success. To achieve this success, the organization must consider its capabilities and constraints of its ability to produce services and products in a way that will satisfy that market. This simply means that the business should consider the feasibility of achieving its set strategic objectives before setting off. In sum, the questions an organization needs to consider when developing its operation strategy are as follows. How to compete within the market? A top-down and bottom-up perspective is relevant here. What are the market requirements? Order winners and qualifiers should be determined here. What resources and capabilities are required? and what constraints should be taken into consideration. When answering these questions, this is how a business develops an operation strategy. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.